Hello, I'm Rashi Goel and I'm legal intern at Lexis and Company. In today's video, I'll be talking about maintenance to wife. So, before starting, let me give an overview what I'll be covering in this video. Firstly, I'll be talking about what is maintenance, what is maintenance to wife, when wife is not entitled to get maintenance and lastly when wife is entitled to get maintenance so first let's start with what is maintenance maintenance has been described under section 3 clause b of the hindu adoption and maintenance act 1956 it is something that can be provided for food clothing shelter education and even medical expenses so basically, it is a financial support given by husband or father that covers all the basic necessities of life. This section also says that if the maintenance is paid to the unmarried daughter, then it shall cover all the expenses from day-to-day -day life till her marriage. Now let's talk about what is maintenance to wife. The wife must be paid with maintenance after divorce until she gets married again. The main idea behind this is to let her live with her lifestyle and comfort that was existed during her marriage. And it must be paid until she gets remarried. And there is no minimum or maximum amount fixed for the maintenance. It is to be decided by the court according to the earning capacity of the husband. Also, if the husband is well to do, then the maintenance shall be high in order to match the uh, rich lifestyle the wife was used to during the marriage. And if that is not the case, then it must be a reasonable enough amount that can cover all the expenses of her life. Now, there are two types of maintenance, temporary maintenance and permanent maintenance. Temporary maintenance is also referred to as maintenance which is awarded by the court during the continuation of proceeding of divorce. The purpose is to meet the necessary and the immediate expenses of spouse who is the party to the proceeding. And on the satisfaction, the court may grant it. Section 24 of the Hindu Marriage Act 1955 deals with the kind of maintenance. Further, it can be claimed under Section 125 Clause 1 of CRPC. Whereas, permanent maintenance refers to the, gra refers to the granting of sum on the uh, periodical basis or on the continuous basis once the proceeding have been disposed of. Now, the question arises, when is wife entitled to maintenance? Section 18, Clause 2 of the Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act provides a list stating when is wife entitled to maintenance. And as per the section, a wife can live separately from her husband and still have the right to claim maintenance but under certain conditions. First condition is, if the husband has deserted his wife, by abandoning her without any reasonable cause and without seeking her consent or by deliberately ignoring her wish. Second condition is if the wife has been subjected to cruelty during her marriage and considers living with her husband to be endangering her life. Third condition is if the husband is suffering from an incurable and contagious disease. Fourth is, if the husband has another wife or mistress in the same house or he lives with another wife or mistress at some other house. Fifth is, if the husband has converted to some other religion or if uh, there are some other reasonable grounds that can justify why the wife should live separately, then uh, maintenance will be provided. And the maintenance can be paid every month or even in lump sum. Even when the wife has some source of income and some property but needs some financial aid for the necessary uh, expenses such as medical expenses, then also maintenance will be provided. It is also the obligation of the husband to pay maintenance for such expenses if required. Last is when wife is not entitled to maintenance. 
a wife must be maintained after divorce in order to be financially supported but there are some exceptions to this rule section 18 clause 3 of hindu adoption maintenance act states that a wife will not be entitled to maintenance under two conditions first if a hindu wife has committed adultery or has any other illicit sexual relationship with anyone else then she shall not be entitled to maintenance and if she has no longer remain hindu and gets converted to some other religion that then that does not fall under the spectrum of hinduism and she will not be entitled to get maintenance thank you everyone for watching my video i hope you guys liked it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with the friends and family and don't forget to let me know your feedback in the comment section thank you stay home stay safe stay healthy